Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's see if we get a notification this morning. flavor caramel on the premium my sister got it for me I don't, I don't see these at the supermarket over here but my sister finds them I don't know I don't know where she gets them but, and they're 30 grams too it's crazy what up angel it's your Wrestlemania Saturday but your lives so fuck it there you go what's happening brother can you hear me I think so I have my my headphones slash microphone hooked up. Oh. I fell asleep last night, man. I had treatment yesterday, and I did. I was beat up, and I watched SmackDown. I fell asleep before I was able to switch over the input over to the Fire Stick. <laughs> What's up, Rocco? Good morning. And uh, I fell asleep. And... Uh, so just before I came live, I've been up since like eight o'clock. Actually, I had breakfast already, make coffee, and uh, here you good. Still awake from ten last night. Wow. So yeah, I fell asleep around ten, right after SmackDown, and I missed the Hall of Fame induction. But I was—that's what I was watching just before. I was watching uh, just Paul Heyman's. I didn't see the rest. I'm gonna go back and watch it later on before uh, WrestleMania starts. Good morning, Mary. How are you? What's up? Got it. Right, let's go through it. Let's go through it. Look at that. That's this is for Rocco. Look at that steam, baby. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Yeah. Definitely a good cup of Joe. My sister brought me some of these yesterday. I got the uh caramel. I put some of that in my coffee too. Very, very good. And of course the uh old ball and basket. Usual suspects. I can't hear because I'm at work. Oh, okay. What's up, Cindy? But I'll give you a thumbs up. Thank you, Skipjack Cindy. I appreciate that. Let me write that. She said she can't hear. I'll write it in the chat because she said she can't hear because she's at work. <coughs> If you guys ain't got uh, Skip Jack Cindy, go check her out. Awesome, awesome channel. A lot of fishing, a lot of chatting, a lot of talking, sometimes not catching, but a lot of fun. How are you feeling today, G? Eh. Men's amends. Men's amends. I was supposed to go. I was supposed to go out this afternoon with my friend to go get coffee and stuff, but I, I don't think I'm going to go out. My uh, that treatment just beat me up yesterday. I did, I did sleep well, so that was good. But it's messing up my stomach. and I don't know. It's the first one I had in five weeks, you know, the treatment. So I think it's my body's like, okay, now we're reintroducing it again. So we're going to mess with you for a little bit. But, I mean, I always feel like crap after a treatment. So at least, you know, three, four days. 
but that is what it is. I'm getting used to it by now, kind of, sort of. I just don't want to go out feeling like crap, you know. I told her maybe tomorrow, you know, if I feel a little better tomorrow, we'll hook up and we'll just go grab a coffee or something quick, you know. I really want to get together with her because she's a sweetheart. She does a lot for me and I don't, I'm not trying to, um, I, I talked to her already this morning and I told her, I said, I'm sorry, you know, I'm just not feeling too hot, you know. She's like, no, I want you to get rest and, you know, feel better. Maybe we could do it tomorrow. There's a difference sitting here on my couch, you know. And being out, out and outside, you know, not feeling well. If I don't feel well here, I could just say, All right, "Guys, I'm getting off here. I'm going to lay down." You know what I mean? I don't like when I, you know somebody's coming out. Especially she lives like you know 20 minutes away. I don't want her to come all the way here, pick me up, and then we're going to do whatever. And then I'm like, "I feel like shit. Can you bring me home?" You know what I mean? I don't want to do that. So I'd rather feel better. So answer to your question, Mary, is I feel eh. Hope to be live tonight. All right, if you are, I'll be there, Cindy. I'll check it out. Uh, tonight's WrestleMania, so that will be front and center. But if you go live like six o'clock, I'll I'll be there until WrestleMania starts at eight. I think it's eight. Angel, eight o'clock, right? It starts for seven. I think it's I think it's eight. I know they're having uh, the two hour like preview beforehand. Oh, actual WrestleMania starts at seven. I thought it was eight. But I heard that yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So you, yeah, then you know what I'm talking about, then, Mary. The key truth, it's it, like I said. You know, we got the results and it's working, but it, you know, it has its it has its downfalls too. But listen, they're putting. You know, I call it medicine, but they're they're putting in poison into your body to kill other poison. You know what I mean? That's you got to look at it the most positive way you can, really. And I know that it come out the right way, but. You know, it's working, so you know, just just got to deal with it. You know, I'll take you know, I'll take three, four days, or even a week of feeling like shit every you know every couple of weeks to get better. You know, if that makes sense, I think it does. It's not just the Keytruda though; it's the Keytruda plus the um, plus the pills too. I got to get up for a second. <laughs> Drains the body. Better days ahead. Yeah. Let me just grab my... Uh, I got to grab the pills, actually. Oh, man. He's actually your... Um, I want to share this with you guys. It's pretty interesting to me. When they first put me on these... Uh, they're called Lenvima. These are the... Uh, we call them... Me and my dad call them the tumor pills. But it's actually the... the combination with the Keytruda is my is my full treatment you know I take these every day you know every morning as you guys know and uh, they're actually uh, made right here in New Jersey did not know that I actually have enough for five 15 days yeah, I got to get in touch with them they have to send me another case they don't have my new number. That's the problem. So I need to figure out how to get a hold of them. I need a phone number. Oh, there we go. I just found it. Good. I'll call them Monday morning. Because they don't. They don't have my. Um, they don't have my new number. So they usually call me um, like a week ahead of time and say, "All right, do you need anything? You know, we'll send it out." But if they don't hear from you, then they won't send anything. You know, they they want a verbal confirmation. So, but yeah, that's how they come in. They come in a big, big cardboard box with this inside, and it's uh, you get one, two, three, four, five days, and I think it's like five times five. Uh, I don't know. I forget how many's in there. I think it's like enough for the month. Actually, so, yeah, it's enough for the month. <clears throat> so I have like a half a month left because I didn't use them. Uh, when we stopped them for two weeks for the testing. You guys still with me? I haven't seen the chat move at all. It says I have three people here and two thumbs up. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry. I I, uh, I bounced out of Kenny's really quick last night to uh, Mary. I just wasn't... Uh, <clears throat> it was nice to see you there. I wanted to say hi to you because I saw you there and stuff, but I wasn't really feeling it. 
uh, that dude Howard talked a lot. Just I was just I wasn't feeling good, and I was like I just wasn't in the mood for it. So I, I bounced out. And wound up like I said, I fell asleep right after, right after SmackDown. Uh, okay, I see you now, Mary. I'm still here, just getting you, getting you exact schedule times for today. Oh, thanks, bro. Yeah, I could have sworn they said eight o'clock because there's a two hour, um, like a two hour pre show. We were talking about it yesterday. I have it all hooked up the fire stick and everything in the bedroom. Because uh, I know by seven, eight o'clock, I'm going to wind up like wanting to be just laying in bed watching it. And uh, then tomorrow, I think it's the, the Slammies. And then after that, it's like it'd be another two hour. Like you know, pre preview, whatever two hours beforehand, whatever they call that, pre show or whatever, and then I think it starts at eight, I believe. Stand and deliver at eleven. WrestleMania kickoff at five. Oh, and then it does start at seven. Okay, good call, Angel. Thanks, dude. Excellent. Even better. Yeah. No, I'll probably watch Stand and Deliver at eleven. I don't. Know. What is that? What do they do on that angel? Stand and deliver. Let me see. I'll Google it. So you don't have to. Don't, you don't have to write all that. I'll just Google it. WrestleMania Sunday, five o'clock. Even better too. Nice. Oh, oh, that's the uh, NXT. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yeah, I just Googled it, too. As you put it in, I just it, it came up on Google. I forgot about that. Yeah, the NXT. And then uh, then they're going to go into the two-hour pre-show, and then they'll go right into uh, 7 o'clock. WrestleMania Sunday 5. Nice. That's cool. So what, the pre-show will be 3 o'clock on Sunday? Well, that's early. But that's kind of cool in a way, too. I mean, it's Sunday night. I guess they don't want it to be too late. Oh, oh I think. Whew. Yeah, I do have to step out today, though, for a few minutes with my dad to go to the store. I got to get a couple of, uh, I got to go get those containers so I can pack up the pea soup. I put, I put the whole pot in the refrigerator so it's nice and cold. But I gotta because I want to give some to my dad. I'm giving some to my landlord upstairs. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I mean, I, th I think I'm gonna give two containers to my dad because my my brother's like I, I love that. I want to try it. You know, my brother's transitioning back to eating meat. He was vegan for so many years, so he goes, if I like it, you know, he's like, I want a container for myself. I'm like, all right, whatever. I have so much. You know what I mean? I don't, I'm not gonna eat it all. Uh, Oh, Sunday, the kickoff is at 5 and the event at 7. Okay, so both nights, 7 o'clock. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks for looking it up, bro. I appreciate that. How's the job going? I meant to ask you that just before, but we started talking about wrestling. Come on, you know, right on my laptop every day. Boom. Look at that. Sexy-ass coin. Whose coin is that? Whose coin is that? <laughs> I don't know how to make that noise that you do. And look at this, Angel. I don't know if you saw it. I got it. It came in uh, to my dad's house the other day. I got the Wolfie. I got the Wolfie coin, dude. What an awesome coin, bro. I, 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 it's, it's like the back is so intricate. You know, the detailing of the Wolf is awesome, but it's such a simple coin if you think about it. And I love the, the, the copper color. Like it's a coin color. You know what I mean? Like very, very crazy. I, I like it, man. I think it's awesome, and it's a bit smaller than yours. Hello, John. Hi there. Fantasy scenario. If money was no object, what would be your dream mosque for your town or neighborhood? Dream as big as you want. Play along in chat, too. Uh, I don't know. No idea. No idea. All right. 
they keep writing the same thing over and over and over becomes a becomes an issue so that's when you just gotta gotta get rid of them see what he said lol i trolled you uh -huh, you're funny you're gone now see ya dumbass great i'm pretty much starting by myself tomorrow night oh that's good angel you see the idiot put in there yeah lol i trolled you yeah you did a great job bye bye carry on go make another freaking account and i'll block that one too dumbasses you got nothing else better to do with themselves I was quick on that one, huh, Angel? <laughs> oh, man. These people got nothing else better to do with their days, man. Sit there and troll people. It's so stupid. You all still here? <sighs> yeah, very, very dumb, Mary. It's all right. I hit him from the channel, and I'll, I'll block him, too. But the funny part is, did you see what they said on the the, the first one? I was like, I read it. I was like, ah, whatever. Kind of sounded kind of weird. But and then I was like, you know, I don't know this person, so it's probably a troll. And they put LOL, uh, happy face with sunglasses on. I trolled you. Yeah, you did. You did great. Good job. You are an excellent troll. Go to the next person now. Keep up the good work somewhere else. Sometimes they humor me too. Really, it's it's funny. I had I had someone uh, that was, I don't know. I guess you could call them a troll, but they weren't really talking shit. They would just come in and say some more like some weird, funny, stupid shit. This was going back a couple years ago on my old channel. They used to come in and just all the time I'd go live and just come in and just start talking some weird, stupid shit, but never bothered anybody. You know, never said anything derogatory or anything mean. You know, to, to me or anybody in the chat. And wound up sticking around for quite some time. What's up, Karina? How are you, my friend? Good to see you, honey. Uh, just give me a heads up, y'all, at 11 o'clock, quarter to 11, something like that. So I don't forget to take my meds. Yeah, it is nuts. But that's all right. I got I zapped that one quick. <laughs> I didn't even give him a chance. It, it is what it is, though. <sighs> like, it was actually, like, funny about it. But I don't, I don't really want anybody in here, you know, just being an idiot. Just okay. Me too. I had my uh, my cancer treatment yesterday, Karina. So I'm like just okay today. I'm like so so, you know, men's immense. Uh. So oh, as I was saying before uh, the troll came in, I have to go with my dad to go get containers for the soup. And I want to grab a couple things for the house. I need some milk, and I'm running out of milk. I have no more Taylor ham. I need. To, I finished the last two pieces today, but I saw that. Um, I think it's Jimmy Dean, maybe Jimmy Dean. It's a digital coupon in the supermarket. It's two packs of bacon for three bucks. That is like insanely cheap. So the only thing is, you have to go up to that little machine and you have to load it onto your Price Plus card. It's a digital coupon. Two for three bucks. I saw it last night. They sent me an email. It's a pretty pretty wild deal. Let me see if I can pull that up, man. There were some really good deals on there. Now I saved the email. I didn't get rid of it. Where is it? Come on. Where'd it go? Oh, shit. I hope I didn't get rid of it. Man, I don't see it anymore. Maybe this is it. Maybe. Oh man. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just kind of quiet today. I'm just uh, I'm just trying to wake up. I'm pretty uh, I've been up for a while, but I'm like sleepy. Oh, bro, bro, bro. Uh, let me see. I don't know what happened here. I can't find that email, but I found another one. <clears throat> oh, no, 
no, this they say this is just a weekly circular, but what the hell happened to the digitals, man? Those are the ones I wanted to see. Damn it. I lost it, man. I'm not happy about that. Let me see. Maybe you're at the bottom. Digital. There it is. I found it. It was... Uh, let's see if I can pull the whole thing up. It's only good until the th oh, April 7th to the 13th. No, don't say that. Is it offers valid Sunday, April seventh through Saturday, April? Oh shit! So I can't even do it till tomorrow. All right, we're gonna have to wait. So what do you got? Smithfield bacon, digital coupon, save four dollars. So instead of two for eight, it's two for four dollars. They have uh, Ball and Basket, which is the uh, Shoprite brand, the store brand ice cream, half gallons, two for three dollars. Save like three bucks. Ego waffles, two different flavors, two for three bucks. There's a bunch of stuff on sale. <clears throat> Hope you're doing good, Karina. It's good to see you. Uh, Coffee Mate Creamer, the big ones, two for six. Well, that's a little high. That's not too cheap. I need to get coffee. And I think coffee was on sale too. But not chock full of nuts. I think it was. Maxwell House, the big one was on sale for the you know the, the, the big big one for like five five bucks or five ninety nine. Super cheap. But I think all that starts tomorrow. Unfortunately. Um how do we go back to that? Shit. I don't know what I did here. Did you just say shop right? Yeah. Supermarket, yep. The digital, they have digital coupons all the time, man. Freaking two for three bucks on bacon. That is like the, the sickest deal you'll ever find. That is so cheap. Oh, there we go. I found it, but I got to find a... I'm going to let me pull up the whole thing. There it is, right there. And that's good. I can get that today. That's good till today, April 6th, right? Yeah. Maxwell House, the big one, is on sale for $5.99. Now it'll ask me, like, one of them lasts me, like, probably a month. All right. That's cool. Oh, morning, all. What's up, Gale Force Raceway? How you doing, bud? Good to see you. Let me make you a mod, man. So you're safe from these stupid ass trolls that are bothering me lately. I always do. If you come in a couple of times in a row, then then I make give you a wrench. Ha ha lottery sub button. What do you mean? Lottery sub button. What does that mean, Gal? Lottery sub button. I don't do lottery anymore. I used to do it on the channel, but not anymore. I have a lot of videos, probably 300 plus videos of lottery. But I stopped doing lottery, uh, I don't know, about two months ago. And we just do these sit down chats now, morning and afternoon. We're going to start doing some uh, trivia Tuesday. This is going to be our first day doing trivia. Your sub button in bottom right corner is New Jersey. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. That's my little icon thing. Yeah. I had that on for years. Yep. I got, I got to get rid of that. Morning, Mary. Hey, I'm a mod. There you go. Yeah, I forgot about that. I got to change that up to something else. Thanks for uh, reminding me. That's I totally forgot about that, actually, for so long. I changed mine to a pink sub button. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm going to find something. And uh, thank you for the kind words, man. You left on uh, that, that comment the other day. I haven't seen you since. I appreciate the kind words and... Uh, the offer to go fishing with you. That was very, very kind of you. Because Sweet Jane loves pink, so I got to do it. Oh, that's cool. Good. Yeah, we'll hook up, man. 
I'll hook up. We'll go fishing this summer. But like I said, you know, I'm sick and everything. So I, you know, when I had my treatments and like I just had to treat me yesterday. So I'm I'm beat up now for a couple of days. So I, I'm not doing anything. But hopefully next month when the weather gets a little bit steadier and you know in the 70s and 80s, then I'll I'll get out. Oh, I did tell you, Mary. So not. All right, obviously, not, so three weeks from now, my dad's taking me to treatment. And then three weeks after that, so six weeks from now, my sister's going to be taking me. And I'm going to pack up overnight bag, and I'm going to go up on my sister's house for for the weekend. So we'll get out of treatment Friday, and I'm going to head up to her house. And then I'll stay there Friday night, Saturday night, and probably Sunday night, too. Or come home Sunday night. I'm not sure. I'm going to see how I feel. But I'm going to bring all my meds, everything I need. And because uh, I told her, you know, if I'm going straight from the treatment, uh, don't give specifics. But are you seen by Summit? If that doesn't make sense, no worries. No, I don't know what that means. Um, treatment is, uh, I get, I get, um, like, I don't get chemo, I get immunotherapy. But it's also called a treatment. So I go in and I get IV for every three weeks for my cancer. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be going up there for uh, for the weekend. Mary, I can't wait. Get to see my hangout with my nephews. And hopefully I feel well enough. I'm going to bring a fishing pole with me. They got really good fishing uh, right across the street from our house. There's a nice little lake right there. So uh, a lot of bass in there. So I'll bring, you know, I'll have my dad give me some Senkos and. I'll go up and fish with my nephew a couple times. Yeah, a little gator. Yeah, exactly, Mary. It's going to be nice. I may work with him. No. We could talk about that on off of here, Gail. But uh, I don't like to put that, you know, my specifics on here when it comes to that stuff. <clears throat> but um, that being said, yeah, I can't wait, Mary. It's going to be fun. But uh, just to get away, like I said, for a couple of days and, you know, go hang out with my nephews. And they work on the weekend. But I think my sister said she's going to tell my one, uh, my youngest nephew, nephew, not my youngest, the other one, uh, the second youngest. If that makes, I don't know. <laughs> that came out wrong. Um, my beds are kicking in. Um, Mikey, he's going to try to. She's going to tell him to try to figure it out with a schedule to take off, you know, not the whole weekend, at least, you know, Saturday or Sunday, whatever day. So we can hook up and he could be around, you know, because my sister has to work the whole weekend. She'll be off Friday night and she'll be off Monday. So, she, I mean, she gets home from work at like 6, 630. So it's not that crazy. I mean, I'll be, if worse comes to worse, I'll be by myself during the day for a few hours. But, you know, like I said, I'll bring a rod and I'll go fishing for a few hours, come back, take a nap, whatever. Family is very important. You have a great support system. Yes, I do. I do. And I'm very grateful for it. Uh, yeah, thanks, Gail. I knew you'd understand. There's a, I talk about a lot on here about my disease, but there's certain things I don't. I just don't get into. You know, Like I said, I do have trolls that piss me off, so there's too many idiots out there. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be, be a good time. My mom was going to go up this weekend, but uh, she backed out last minute, which we knew she was going to do that. But it is what it is. She, she didn't feel up to it. And, you know, we didn't want to we didn't want to pressure her either. So maybe she'll go up next weekend. You know, she can go up with my sister and they can do girl things, you know, girls weekend or whatever. It would be nice for her. My mom's been super stressed. She was, she, you know, I'm going to tell you right now, I saw it in her eyes yesterday when I told her the news, you know, how, how I'm the treatments, you know, I'm doing better. And uh, I could just see the relief in her eyes. So I'm so happy for her because she's, you know, her and my father stressed out, my brother too, you know, my sister, everybody's just, you know, worried and worried. And it's to hear that, you know, things are, are in the right direction. You know, I'm far from out of the woods, but, you know, things are going in the right direction. I could, I could see the relief in her eyes and, you know, she just grabbed me and hugged me and we both cried. And it was, it was nice to see that she, she probably got a good night's sleep last night. I'm happy for her. Because she's super worried, you know. So what else is going on? What's everybody doing this weekend? Any, anything crazy? Anything fun? Me, like I said, I might step out just to get a couple things, you know, get some milk and bread and 
stuff for the house and then come home and just wait for uh, the the early thing for WrestleMania to start. And then it's going to be WrestleMania Saturday. Going to watch Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins beat The Rock and Roman Reigns. That's going to be fun. I hope, anyway. <laughs> I still think there's going to be interruptions tomorrow's match anyway, Angel. No matter what happens, if they say it's a bloodline rules or not bloodline rules, depending on the outcome today, I still think somebody's going to interfere with it anyway. But dude, last night was so much fun. Dude, I can imagine, Steven. Uh, I watched SmackDown, and then I missed the um, – I fell asleep for the uh, Hall of Fame. I saw a couple videos this morning though, on YouTube. Just running some errands. I bailed out on Trout opening day today. Too chilly. Yeah, it's too chilly, and the, the rivers are just high, man. They're just they're raging. Even if I felt good and I wasn't sick, I still wouldn't have gone today. I mean, I might have. I don't know. If the rivers weren't high, I probably would have. But just, they're, they're just blown out. It's not worth it. I mean, if you go to find a lake or you know a little pond or something that they stock, but that's not. I don't like trout fishing like that. I'm going to soccer games, grandkids playing. Cool, Mary. That's awesome. I hope you have a great time. And you have decent weather for it. Undertaker inducted Muhammad Ali. Really? That's cool. Who who inducted um, Paul Heyman? Because I saw some of it before, but it didn't, they didn't show that part. Who did it? Was it Roman Reigns or no? Way too high. Next weekend is showing 20 plus degrees more. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Oh, Roman did? All right, cool. I gotta find that video, yeah. But that had to be awesome being there, Stephen. I mean, it was, I'm sure it was a long night. I mean, you had two hours of SmackDown plus the uh, induction was, what, at least an hour, right? Maybe a little more. Oh, they're inside. Oh, that's cool, Mary. It's even better. So you don't have to be outside in the elements. That's good. What can I say? I got a nice cars and coffee up North Jersey tomorrow a.m. What is that? Cars and coffee. If you don't mind me asking, if you want to talk about it, what is it? What does that stand for? Cars and coffee. I've, I've, I went on your channel. I say if it has to do with what your channel's about, then that's pretty cool. Because I, I looked a little bit. I watched a couple of videos the other day. Yes, very tired. Oh, I bet. What are you all staying in the hotel, right, Stephen? I'm guessing. Or did you go back home and then go? I don't know how far it is from your house. Uh. I'll try to catch a couple games every year. They're inside. Okay, that's very tired. Traveling league. Nice, Mary. And he just said, hello, Steven. Car meet, car show, car and coffee. Oh, gotcha. Cool. Not slot cars, real cars. And thanks for watching my slot. Oh, absolutely, man. That's pretty cool. I checked it out. Hey, Tina. Good morning. How you doing, sweetheart? Um. Uh, Yes, a hotel. All right, cool. Got you, man. You know what I really enjoyed, that, which was really cool, that segment with uh, Kevin Owens and uh, Randy Orton and those two other idiots going across the street. Like, they went across the street, and then those other ones are following them, and it turned out to backfire on them for, for uh, what's his face, uh, Logan Paul. That was, that was a cool segment, man. I really enjoyed that. That was funny as hell. It's crazy because uh, Randy Orton and all them, that three-way match, if it comes down to it, uh, Randy and uh, Kevin got to fight each other, man. It's, it's going to be crazy, but it is what it is. I'm good. Glad to see you're up to being live this morning. Yeah, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm not feeling too hot, but I had breakfast, had my coffee and my protein shake and just sitting here chilling, you know, just like I, this is my therapy, you know that, Tina. So I try not to miss it. You know, I'm not feeling great, but I took my meds and stuff. My meds are kicking in. I'm like, woohoo. <laughs> I'm a little loopy loopy, but that's okay. Like I said, she she upped my my pain meds a little bit because I've been in a lot of pain the last month or two. So when you up them, they uh, affect you a little more. So it makes me a little loopy, but it's all good. Got them right here. Thank you, Tina. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're getting half hour. I tell you, I know, it, I know it's cold out today, too. Chilly, windy, but it looks nice. It looks like the sun came out. How's it up by you, Gil? 
Speaking of errands, time to roll out. Have a great day, man. Good chatting. You too, Gail. Have a good one, man. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate you. Have a good, safe weekend. And if you get out uh, fishing, good luck. <clears throat> yeah, thanks, Tina. I got them right here next to me. I was just showing everybody how they, they come in these big boxes. And I have to actually, I'm glad I did it because I had to find the phone number because they don't, they don't have my new, my new cell number. So I got to call them. I got to order another uh, case of them. I mean, you know, a month's worth, whatever. Sam weather zero ain't far from you. Same weather. Oh, same weather ain't far from you. Oh, okay, cool. Ah, oh, that's good. Tina, look at this one. My sister sent me. She brought them yesterday because she brought me to my treatment. These are the premieres. I don't see them by me. She gets them though. Caramel. So good. So there is there is a vanilla extra large premier one that comes in like the plastic container. Not like these. The other ones. The screw off top. Somewhere in my sister's car. We can't find it. We couldn't find it yesterday. Couldn't find it today. Last night I came home. I looked everywhere in this apartment. Nowhere to be found. I texted her. I'm like, did you find it? She's like, nope. I looked in my whole car. I don't know where it went. I might have had it sitting next to me on the seat. And when I opened the door, when we got to the, the garage over there, I might have dropped it out of the car or something. I don't know. But I'm watching the clock for you. Uh, thanks, Mary. <clears throat> But those are good, Tina. The she brought me two flavors. She brought me this one, uh, caramel, which I think we I think we had this once before, and then a new one, another new one, strawberries and cream. But that's the premier protein. That's a uh, that figures. <laughs> Can't find it. It's it's crazy. I looked everywhere in this house, and then I looked from here to the front. I looked. She said she looked in her trunk. Because I could have sworn I put it in the bag with the soup that I brought for her and my dad. And that I, I don't know. I don't know. I told her to look again. It might have fell in the crevice in the trunk underneath, like where the tire thing goes. I, I have no idea. <laughs> A while back, yeah, you had when you first started drinking them. What, the uh, caramel? Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. The uh, strawberry and cream one is really good, Mary. I had it yesterday, last night. Very, very good. So when I go out, I don't have to buy those for the, for at least until the, you know midweek or whatever. So that's kind of cool. She surprised me because she came in. She's like, I need to use the bathroom. I got to come in before. I'm like, okay. So she came in. She put a bag on the. You guys know, like when you come in from outside, I showed you. Then you got to come through like that curtain. But in be before that is the bathroom right there, the vanity. She put it on there. I'm like, what's in the bag? She goes, drinks. I'm like, oh, you brought water and stuff for you for today. She's like, no, I brought you freaking protein drinks. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> And we lost one somehow. Go figure that one out. But I'm sure she'll find it. It's got to be in her trunk. It's got to be. Or it fell under her seat in the car or somewhere. I don't know. But freaking crazy. But, yeah. Sister, we love. Yeah. She always surprises me with stuff. She's like, I was going to bring you another knife set because you said you were into doing your soups. I said, Jerry, the one you brought me is awesome. That's 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 enough. It's already two knives that she's got me. I'm like, stop. I don't need any more knives. I have more than enough. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, yeah, I was happy when I got to the area. I, I didn't even go anywhere to the lab, nothing. When I checked in, I just went straight to the pharmacy. And I'm like, oh, I'm picking up. And like, oh, what's your name? Blah, blah, blah. And then, I'm like, how many are there? I said three. I'm like, yes. My pain meds went through. I was happy. Because I didn't want to have to go back again, you know, Monday morning and bother my dad or somebody you know, where everything was there. My pain meds, my laxative pills, everything. Everything was ready. So I was so happy. I was like, good. I don't have to go back. Just worked out for everybody. See, on these, on these laxatives, it says drink plenty of water while taking this medicine. This medicine may change the color of your urine or feces, and it doesn't. It's kind of weird. I'm like, I'm like the uh, exception to the rule when it comes to these, I guess. 
I don't know. I just take them because it helps me. So. And I had those extended, the extended Oxycons. I think I had about 15 left over from last month. So that's a good thing. Yeah, that's the Senna, Mary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, best invention in the world. Because when when you're on when you're on so many meds like I am, especially the opiates, the uh, it's bad. You know, bonds you up. So you need something to keep you keep you regular. And what I love about what I love about these too, these actual Premier proteins, and I think some of the insurers I get, they're they're good gut health too. They um they have nutrients in it for the immune health. You know, for your stomach and stuff, it helps. So, any combination of everything, now I have no issues anymore. So I'm very happy about that. That was one of the worst experiences I've had in my life. Gluten free. These are gluten free too. Yep. What are they? Eleven ounces are these. Not bad. <clears throat> Constipation is not good. Got to keep. Yeah, you ain't lying. Shit. You guys remember, man? I went. I don't know if you you weren't around. I don't think yet, Mary. I went through a bad situation with that, man. I almost wound up in a hospital. It was horrible, 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 horrible. I don't even like talking about it. It was, like I said, probably one of the worst situations I had in my life when it came to bowel situations. And I don't never want that to happen again. So I take these every day like I'm supposed to. Morning, night, I don't have a problem. And I'll throw in the fiber gummies once in a while, too, if I feel like I'm, uh, you know, if I happen to take more medicine than I'm supposed to or whatever the case may be. But you got to keep up with it. Otherwise, it could be a bad situation. And I, I don't want that to ever happen again. It was horrible. I feel as if I'm developing a cold. Oh, I hope you feel better, Rocco. Get some rest, man. I made someone cry last night. Happy tears. A friend of mine had a Shih Tzu puppy and couldn't keep him because she works all the time and no time for training him. I took him to my sister. Oh, cool, Tina. That's awesome. At least they know that uh, went to a good good home, you know. It's gonna get love. So that's cool. Is there any news on? Let's see the weather for the week coming up. There we go. Saturday news at ten a.m. Just want to see the weather coming up for the next week or so. <laughs> so I feel better towards the end of the week. Maybe I'll we'll fish down a uh, down a river. Me and my dad. Cause I heard the weather's supposed to be nicer next week. First alert weather. There we go. Ow. Yeah, it was her birthday and anniversary. Oh wow, that's cool. I just said weather, and I didn't put the weather. What the hell? Mm -hmm. I had one. He was 16 when he passed. Oh, wow. That's what that is. I was wondering what this big warehouse is. It's a community food bank. And uh, if I say the name, you're not going to know. Gail would know because he's from Jersey. But it's, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour from me. Big, 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 big warehouse. Food bank. That's cool. I should figure out exactly where it is so I can go and get some free stuff. 
we had one here in, in the town right next to mine. They would give away. It was the, um, oh, I can't think of the organization. Um, but they, they did it every every Tuesday, I think. They would give away, like, you know, a, a pre-packed, you know, mixed box of stuff, you know, it'd be some, some, uh, some fruit, some veggies. Uh, sometimes they put a protein in there, like a pack of chicken legs. Uh, they would use, they used to give milk and eggs, uh, like a food bank, but I can't, I can't think of the name of, uh, who ran it. I forgot. Making wonton soup. Nice. It's sunny and looks really pretty out, but it's colder than a well diverse ass out there. <laughs> 20 mile an hour winds, 37 feels like 28. Wow. Black and white. I let his coat long, show coat. Oh, nice, Mary. My mom would, uh, my mom was, a, I told you she was a dog groomer for 40 years, 35, something like that. And uh, she was one of the best in the in tri state area here. She'd have a waiting list. People would get on a waiting list to, to have my mom groom their dog. So I know what you mean when you say show coat. That's what my mom did. Oh, what is that? Damn, I just missed it. Just came up and I saw 30s and 40s. That's all I saw. And now it just went away. Come on, come back. Rain is supposed to come through again. That's what we don't need is many more rain. Some clouds. Pesky, spotty showers on the cool side. Come on. No, it says warm. When is that? Delightful days to come, Monday and Tuesday. Give me the rundown here. Let's go. Uh, all right. Today, 53, low of 42, 55, 40, 63, 42. Tuesday, high of 71. Oh, very nice. That's nice. Tuesday looks really nice. That's good. Yes, I took him every month to get him groomed. This one is chocolate, very rare color. Yeah, that is rare. Yeah, my mom was uh, famous in this area. They all waited for her. Put it to you this way, every year at Christmas time, my mom used to make like, I don't know. I forgot what she said. A G, two Gs every Christmas, just on tips alone. I'll be right back. His name was Tucker Oreo. A oh, cool name. His name is Cooper something another. Cooper something another. I love it when they give them AKC names. Oh, that's cool. Well, they do that when they're uh, purebred, I think, right? I believe. Now, <sighs> I think my landlord's in the back cutting grass. 
hear the friggin' lawnmower going. I don't think it needed it yet. But... Oh, I got something in my fucking eyeball. I need a tissue. Take the eye boogers. <laughs> uh, I get them all the time. Uh. Oh, man. My pet's name is Tucker. Oh, that's a cool name. My, uh, where I lived before here, my buddy's pet is called, her name was Sunday, but like an ice cream Sunday. Not like the day. I miss her. She's a sweetheart. That's the one thing I miss. Living there. Sunday, she was awesome. What's up, Katie? Ticket love scratch. How are you? We're all allergic to cats. Not crazy about them anyway. Yeah, I'm the same way, Mary. Andy Griffith show. <laughs> Look at Don Knotts. You go, boy. I love this. This is a good show. That's on this uh, Me TV. They play some old old shows. Really cool. Sometimes I'll get into it and I'll watch it all day. Just be like, like see Andy Griffith, Gomer Pyle, Pettigoat Junction, Green Acres, all those old shows. Before my time, kind of stuff. What is this? I've never seen this one. Nest. Mystery. So many channels. Like I'm telling you, with this antenna TV, if you if you just uh, you can go and like re-scan, you, you pick up a lot of new channels. I think for whatever reason. I'm okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks. I'm like you know, I'm so so. I'm not feeling too great, but. Not shit either. I don't know. Yes, he's not going to pass his lineage on, though. He's going to be neutered in four months. He'll be seven months old then. Oh, okay. And it won't be passing on that uh, beautiful purebred gene, I guess, if you're going to have him neutered. Oh, what happened? <laughs> My dad's so funny. He, my dad has unlimited, okay? And he just texted me 22 minutes ago. I just saw it now. I wasn't on my phone. He goes, I can't come on your live. I have used all my megabytes. <laughs> my megabytes. That's so friggin' funny. He cracks me up. He has unlimited. I told him that last time, too. Oh, he cracks me up, man. You ever like you ever text and you just try to you just go too fast and then all of a sudden like some crazy word comes up. <clears throat> trying, I'm trying, guys. <laughs> trying my best. Uh, he cracks me up though. I used all my megabytes. I have a shepherd, his name is Miles, and a boxer, his name is Cash. Then three medium, Hero, Dozer, and Bubblegum. Bubblegum was supposed to be my great-granddaughter's. That's why his name is Bubblegum. Oh, because you have a lot of animals. I had Tucker neutered. He kept humping my granddaughter's leg. <laughs> wow, yeah. I can see why you wanted to stop that. She was three when she named him. What up, what up, bro? What up, uh, most hated grower? How are you? Good to see you on a Saturday. What's happening? <clears throat> I just told my dad to him, like, you have unlimited on your phone. 
but he thinks he used up all his megabytes. Uh, he cracks me up, man. He is a hoot. Yo, what up, Marky Mark? You feel that earthquake essay? Nah, man. My sister had just got here when it happened, and my apartment's in the basement, so I don't. I think that's why we didn't feel it. I sure did. I was outside by my truck. I thought Kim Jong Un was coming at us. <laughs> that's funny. Nah, I got to the. We got to the cancer center, and everybody was talking about it. I'm like, nah, we didn't feel it. going on bud I'll be doing good Marky Mark Okay. Sorry, guys. I just was uh, texting my dad back. He said that for whatever reason, his uh, gigs are used up and he can't come into the live. That's crazy. That sucks. Uh, let me get caught up here. I missed some of the chat. Neither him or Putin was my friend. <laughs> That's funny, Mark. Tina said, all mine are fixed and chipped. I had someone tell me to my face that if they saw any of them outside, they'd pick them up. Not on my life. 45 leaves a nasty hole. Oh, sure does. Meds pretty soon. Thanks, Mary. I got them right next to me. I'm going to take them in two minutes. Hey, Tina, and most hated grower, Mark said. Morning, NJ. Uh, Mark said, Jared tried sending you a pick yesterday, but it wouldn't go through. Uh, I don't know why. I'm like, did, you, did you send it to the new number? Did you, did, didn't, we, didn't we go through that with the new numbers? I think I said I sent you an email or something, right? Didn't we figure that out? Let me see. All right, Tina. Give me one second. Let me see here, Mark. Hey, Susan. How you doing, honey? How are you, big sis? 
We feel so much shaking from weapons bomb practices at Fort Liberty. If we ever get an earthquake, we could feel here. I would just think it's from another explosion. Oh, wow. Uh, no, that's gone, Mark. I told you that, buddy. I told you we got the new number. Hold on. Let me see if I got you in here. Uh, yeah. You sent me pictures the other day of your beard and your dad. I'm just going to send you this right now. I'm going to say this number. Okay. I just texted you just now. Should go through in a second. So and if you want to send anything. Oh, look. You just said LOL. <laughs> All right, so you got it. There you go. Send away. Send pictures. How are you, Susan? Good to see you. Six minutes and counting. Uh, why is my chat stuck? Oh, I got it. All right, let me take my meds so I don't forget. <clears throat> fresh, fresh pack, too. Not that that matters. <laughs> Yeah, but Dad said he can't come in because of his gigs or whatever. It sucks. I guess he has to wait till he pays his bill on Monday. I don't know. There, we got him, y'all. Down the hatch. Down the hatch till the next batch. Mm. All right. All right, we're in. Sent the pick from last night, last night since we were talking about it. Okay. Doing good. Just having a quiet day here with my mom. I hear you. Me too, Susan. Like I said, I had treatment yesterday, so I'm, I'm feeling a little poopy the rest of the week. Weekend. Maybe beginning of the week. Uh, what the heck is that? Oh, pizza game. Damn, it's all gone. Mark, what the hell, man? You didn't even save me a piece? Or is that my piece? <laughs> but um, I'm going to be up by my sister's house in six weeks, uh, Mark. If you want to hook up when I'm up there. She's in Vernon, so I don't think you're that far away. Please leave a thumbs up. Thank you, Tina. <clears throat> I hope Mom's doing okay, Susan. That looks delicious, Mark. Just save me a friggin' piece and then make it again. So if we hook up in six weeks. Almost moved to Verdon a few years ago. Yeah, it sounds good, man. Yeah, for sure. That's why I told her. I said, because she's going to be working, and I think my nephews are going to be working, unless he could take off one of the two days. Because I'll go up after treatment on a Friday, stay there Friday night, Saturday night, and then either come home Sunday night or stay Sunday night and come back Monday because she's off on Monday. So she'll come down. It'll be a good reason for her to come, you know, visit by my parents. While she's down here bringing me home so um i told her i said you know i said maybe my buddy mark will come up you know and we'll, uh, we'll be able to fish for a couple hours or something an ex-girlfriend lived off breakneck oh, okay my sister lives right in that area yep yeah i know breakneck very well that's right by she lives very very close to there Thankful that bit of feeling bad is effectively getting rid of the tumors. Yeah, it's true. Still happy with that good news, though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I look at it this way, Susan. I got to feel like shit for a few days to... to... I might even going to say what I was going to say. My doctor put it the best way. If you're a marathon runner, you don't always have to win the first mile. It's the long run. You, know, you want to win the race in the end. So he said, you know, we're this, you're not out of the woods at all. He's like, but you're, you know, slowly tumors are, are diminishing which is a good thing um like he said we could be we could be on his treatments for two years who knows you know we're just going to keep monitoring it and he said you know instead of waiting five or six treatments to do a checkup next time we're going to wait maybe just uh two months instead of three months or whatever it was instead of three months i think or four months we're going to wait only two months and we're going to go do tests just to see you know maybe we have to you know adjust meds or whatever so we'll see Good news is better than no news or bad news, 150,000%. My wife's aunt was just diagnosed with multiple myeloma last week, blood cancer. Not good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I have to do a lot of blood transfusions and stuff. That's that's rough, man. 
It's rough. There was a lady next to me yesterday. Um, I think she we didn't really get into detail of what she had, but she she had like three bags of blood hanging. She had to get a lot of blood and rough, 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 rough. It just seems like I hear it more and more, man. People getting cancer. It's crazy. Every day I hear it. This one, that one, this one, that one, this one. I'm like, come on, man. It's crazy. Nine teeth. She will need pulled bone marrow. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a long, it's a big process. I know. My son-in-law's mom says her treatments are rough and beating her up. So yeah. So then you know what I mean, Susan, when I say it beats me up. You know, a lot of people don't know what I mean, but unless you're going through it, then you understand it. Like it beats me up. It's beating me up right now. Like I, I don't feel great, but I'm on my um, my pain meds kicked in, and I'm you know that's a mirage band aid, if you will, you know, to pretend that I'm feeling okay. But I'm sitting here, and my sides hurt, my back's killing me, everything hurts. I'm just like, I, I, I'd rather be in my bed, to be honest with you. But I can't sleep in my bed all day. That's not a life, you know. I'd, I'd rather be sitting here with y'all and trying to like, even if it's a band aid for an hour or two, to you know that I'm masking the pain, you know. It is what it is. Yeah, it's, it's Katie. It's a it's a rough system, man. But you know what? At the end, I'm improving. So, like I said, I'll take four or five days of feeling like crap. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry to hear that too, Susan. That your son-in-law, so mom. It's tough. This shit is no joke, man. I put a thing on Facebook last night, and I said it just like that. I said this, this cancer is no joke, man. It's nothing to laugh at. It's no joke. It's rough. Beats you up. It beats you up. But you have to stay strong. That's the key. I hear it all the time now, too, Jerry. My dad said the chemo he did was easier than the 40 radiation treatments he did. Wow. And chemo is no joke either. So saying that is is a lot. You know, I, I, I like I said, Mike, the, the the kidney cancer I have, I can't get chemo. It's just the way it is. So I, so I have to have this. Uh, I have to have this uh, immunotherapy, Keytruda. You know, there's other ones out there. Um, matter of fact, where is it? Right here. Hold on. These came to my mom's house yesterday. I'm glad I found these because I want to look at this one, Mag. You guys ever hear of this? Ginny's? I've never heard of it. It's like a buy now, pay, buy now, pay later kind of joint. Well, I was at my mom's. I took it. But, um... No, I, I, I remember, let me just cover this up. I just want to cover up the address. Um, yeah. So it's called uh, Cancer Today. It's like a like a monthly magazine they do through the hospital. Mm. So you can you can uh, sign up for it, and then they'll send it to your house. You know? So I had it sent to my parents' house. Well, there was a whole bunch of things in there, like different, different treatment options and, you know, just different stories and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get into a little bit more. Like with this first page right here, I'll show my mom. I'm like, Keytruda isn't the only one. Here's another one here. It's called Pluvicto. That's another immunotherapy. Like there's so many different different kinds of treatment. Um, this one is particularly for prostate cancer. You know, there's so many different um, immunotherapies right now out there on the in the cancer world, if you will. Um, you just got to find the one that works for you, you know, and I, I got lucky that my oncologist picked the one that, you know, believe it or not, he, he, he hit it on the head, you know, because he saw he did a lot of research on it and he has a lot of good results from it. So he said, that's what we're going to try. I said, okay, and so far it's working. And I told him yesterday, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just leave it. Let it, let it keep doing what it's doing. Like, see, even here. Most lung cancers, most lung cancers, you got to get chemo for it. and see immunotherapy for early stage lung cancer. I was reading this one a little bit yesterday. Um, hold on, I, I missed the chat a lot. I started yapping. Uh, I left off when Mark said, my dad said the chemo. Okay, where are we? I didn't miss a lot then. Skipjack Cindy's back. Hello, Cindy. How are you? They couldn't do immunotherapy with my dad's cancer. I'm not sure why. Because, you know why, Mark? Because certain cancers only respond to certain either immunotherapy or chemos. Now, the argument for some people I've had is immunotherapy is a form of chemo, which it is. That's 100% fact. It's not chemo, but it is a form of chemo. 
you'd have to do research and, and read up about it to understand. And it took me a while to understand it myself and I'm going through it. So if you really are interested about it, look it up and, and read about what immunotherapy is in comparison to chemotherapy. Like I said, for me, I had no choice but to do Keytruda or a different kind of immunotherapy because the cancer I have in my kidneys does not accept chemo. It will, it won't, it won't work. So, um, Skip check. Cindy said, I'm working, but we aren't getting much done boat after work. Okay, cool. Have you heard anything from the unemployment department? Nothing, Angel, nothing. Uh, NJ, certain kinds of cancer don't respond to chemotherapy and vice versa. Exactly, Mary. Yep, 100%. Yep, very well said. I know my wife's aunt will need pills at home, but my dad needed to go to the hospital and sit for a couple hours. Like, see, I do that every three weeks. I go to the cancer center like I did yesterday, Mark, and they hook me up with the IV, and I get my Keytruda is a liquid IV. So I, that gets pumped into me for half hour, and that's what I did yesterday. It's a slow drip for a half hour, and then they put saline for another five minutes, and then I'm done, and I go home. But I'm there for five hours, four hours, because of all the everything before that. I have to go give like four tubes of blood when I first get there. That gets sent to the lab. They read that. They make sure all my numbers are good. Then I go see my oncologist for like 20 minutes. We talk. He told me my results of my test. Then you go sit in there in the other room and you wait. Because by the time I sit there and I see my oncologist, which is about 45 minutes into me getting there, he then orders the medicine from the lab downstairs. So they prepare the, the drip bag that gets put into me through IV that takes like an hour before that's made up and done. So in that meantime, when I'm in the treatment room, they sit there, they run the IV into my arm, get all that raised. The process is crazy, bro. It is. It's, you know, people, why are you there four hours? It's, it's a long process, man. And it's, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. It really does. But like I said, if it helps, you know what I mean? It is what it is. See, there's a good article in here too. I'm going to read later. Um, non-surgical options in bladder cancer. It's, it's, there's so many different cancers out there. It's, it's insane, man. Cancer research funding faces uncertain future. You know, there's, there's, there's a lot of things, a lot of things in this mag that I, I want to read about, and I'm going to read about them later. I just found out, and I didn't know. He's been my oncologist for the last five months. I didn't know that he had lymphoma years ago. He just told me and my sister yesterday. So this is why he's so passionate at what he does. And I'm telling you what, I, I you can give me any other oncologist and I, I don't want him. I want the one I have now. He's an amazing person. Um, he's been through it himself. So he, he his, his compassion is amazing. It really is. He came and gave me a hug yesterday and he's like, I'm so happy that you're doing well. And, you know, it just you can't find that. It's very hard to find that. They keep you in case of some kind of bad reaction. Yeah, that too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yes, and not really, Mary. To be honest, because afterwards, when I'm done, when the when the last drip is done, the machine goes off. They run saline for five minutes, and I'm done. I'm out of there. I leave. They don't keep you there any longer after that. It's it's more of just the um, them testing the blood in the beginning. Like when I first get there, they do my vitals, and they take three, no, three tubes of blood. They take, and they check all my levels you know, of everything. I was signed up to receive uh, the Sloan Kettering Cancer Center all the emails and updates, blood tests, MRI scans, etc. for my dad. The appointments and tests were nearly every day. They had to, they had to live it. Oh wow! New York City for months. That's crazy, dude. Instead of commuting from Milford, PA, to the city, literally five days a week. Whew. How was your weight this time? Um, I gained a few more pounds. I was two hundred four point four. So since the beginning, I went from 168 to 204.4. So now I'm going to start eating clean again, and uh, no more no more crazy bad food for me because I want to stay at around 200. I don't want to gain any more weight. My doctor said that's fine. He says as long as you're eating healthy, you know, try to maintain 200 is good. So What is that? 
AACR Cancer Progress Report. For cancer research. Maybe I'll fill that out and mail it back. Yeah, I'll, I'll read this later. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, I was happy with the uh, with the weight thing. But like I said, I'm not, I'm trying not to get, I'm not trying to gain any more weight. I'm trying to maintain now because I, I I'm I'm good at 200. I don't need to be anymore. I was 300 pounds, and I never want to go back to that again. Uh, there's a good article in here too, Mark. Uh, if I can screenshot it, I'll send it to you. Or if there's a website you can find it, I'll let you know. But you know who Darren Waller is, right? New York Giant tight end. There's a there was a big, big article in here about um, he was had a bad addiction to opiates and shit and his recovery and very crazy, crazy article. I started reading a little bit last night, but I, I stopped reading it. I'm going to read it again, but he went through a lot, man, with opiates and stuff, addiction. So, so it's a good read. Double tail of ham, egg, and cheese on everything bagel. It's on me. Beautiful. Can't wait. That I'll eat. Faux show. Sure. Yeah, addiction is no joke. Uh, it's, it's a good read. I'm gonna I'm gonna read the rest of it uh, later on. Uh, he went through a lot, and he fought his way back. You know, just uh, went through a lot. You can laugh, dude. I'm not joking, bro. Double tail of ham, egg, and cheese on an everything bagel, salt, pepper, ketchup. I'm in. Sign me up. <laughs> but I want to check this out. My brother was like, just take it. They won't even know you took it. They don't know where they're from it anyway, but I'll give it back to my dad when I see him. It's uh, called Jenny's. Buy now, pay later. It's a dangerous place. As long as your credit's okay, they'll, they'll run your credit and they'll... they'll uh, you can get all sorts of stuff and they just pay later. But you got to make sure you pay it or they'll probably send someone to your house to come get everything out of your house. Cool stuff, though. A lot of cool stuff. That's what I want to get eventually, too, is a blender because I want to start doing like getting protein powders. Kind of like Finger Hut. Yeah, that's probably a good way to say it. Yeah. You know? I got a lot of cool stuff here. I mean, I think you could probably do like a um, payment plan, I guess, how it works with them. Because it says right here like $20 a month, $10 a month, whatever. If you want to do that route. And then there's a price you could just outright pay for whatever you want. You know, you could just pay credit or whatever. I don't know how they do it. But like here's a Ginny's Everyday Blender for 60 bucks, Or you can do $10 a month through their, through their thing that they do. But. Pretty cool. It's got some really cool stuff here. Look at that little 10 quart deep fryer. Oh, that's nice. I don't want to deep fry anything. Nice to have, though. <clears throat> I appreciate you guys hanging out. We got eight, eight people in the chat, eight thumbs up. That's perfect. Perfection to me. I appreciate you guys spending a little of your Saturday morning with me. Even if we just sit here and yip yap about whatever. I, I love this, man. It's part of my day. I, I really appreciate you guys. You guys know how important it is to me. I was talking to my parents about it yesterday. My mom's like, you really do enjoy that YouTube thing? I said, I do. I, said, I really do. I do. I look forward to it every day. You know, I wake up, I might be in the, not in the best of moods or feeling the best. I said, but I go on and I hang out with my my little YouTube family man. Cheers me right up. Uh, hello, Joe. Good morning. What's up, D man? What's going on, brother? Okay, I gotta go get my soccer socks on. <laughs> Maybe catch up with y'all later. Stay safe. Be blessed. Prayers for all. Thanks, Mary. I hope you have a great day with the grandbabies. Have fun. I hope they win. But if they don't, I'm sure they'll all have fun anyway. So have a good time. Enjoy it. And uh, let me know how it was later. 
I'll probably go. I, I might go live later on. I don't know. I haven't been doing Saturday afternoon lives lately. Um, just because I got all this, especially this weekend, because all the WrestleMania and stuff going on. So we'll see. thousand dollars for what burial insurance yeah okay they always win that's good i know what you mean go live later i'll be here all right yeah i'll see like i said i got the whole wrestlemania thing going on so we'll see be right back you got it mark the thing is that you can't get sick from any of us, so it's healthy in many ways. Not definitely, definitely, for sure, Tina. I just, I just enjoy it. I really do. I just, I have a good time, and you know, like I said, if I wake up and I'm not feeling good, or you know, it just, it picks me up. You know, it's a, it's a good pick me upper. Oh, I like that frame, platform bed frame. How much? One twenty nine ninety nine for a twin. One twenty nine ninety nine. That's what I have. It's a lot higher too. Wow, well, it's pretty nice. Oh, shit, you guys can see me. I have to delete the stream now. I didn't realize I had my mom's name and everything on there. Uh oh. Right, right, right. What you up to, D-Man? Going live after me, bro? If we do, I'll come hang out for a little bit. Oh, that's nice. What is that? Cooling memory foam pillow. Ooh. And a memory foam topper. Well, I have them. I have a friggin' six-inch topper. Yeah, I don't know where Billy's at, Mark. He might be uh, probably sitting in the booth having coffee right now. He was in the live last night, and then uh, I told him I'd probably be live this morning. But I might have had a rough night. I know he doesn't get home till around 3 in the morning from shrimping, so he's maybe just tired. What is that thing? Magnavox 7-inch portable DVD CD player. Oh, that's cool. Yes, I will go live after you to do some diamond art. Cool, man. You still doing the... Um, the... Um, Jason, Freddy, that whatever that one. I know you were doing that one the other day. <clears throat> Eleven twenty. That's cool. It'll stay on for a little while longer. Let's see what's shaking. If people are still here, we'll stay on. If not, then uh, we'll end it and we'll go by you for a little bit. Angel didn't even say goodbye. I think he, he might have just passed out. He was up from, he, he came in before the man. He said he was uh, up from last night, from 10 a.m., uh, 10 p.m. last night. He was up from work, and then I, I saw he, oh, there he is. Look at that. I just got to mention his name. <laughs> Let's finish this Diamond Art episode nine. <laughs> I thought you fell asleep, Angel. Almost done with. After that, I'll be doing one for semi Ernie one that I got. Oh, nice. Did you send out that package yet, D-Man? I know I sent you the email. You never told me uh, 
You never said anything to me about it. Amen. I love cats. Cool. Kittens are the best. Just checked out some of his shorts. Oh, cool. Oh, he's got some good. Uh, he's got some good stuff on there. Oh, cool, Angel. Where where are you watching that on the replay on the um, on Peacock? Because I want to watch it too. Not the ones he's wearing either. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, he's got some good. He's got some good stuff on there. Stream. Oh, Flowback is live doing the panel. I just saw that now. Uh, no, not yet. Need to get to the post office to get tracking if you want tracking, or I can send it through regular mail. You could send it through regular mail, I guess. I mean, I don't know what you're going to have in there, but uh, and don't tell me. Uh, I don't want to know, but you can send it through regular mail. Usually, I mean, everything people send, they usually get no problem, but if you feel it's something that needs tracking, that's, then, yeah, that's up to you. It just like having track and that's up to you man i said you make that call i mean no rush i just was asking hey rocco welcome back papa 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 rocco i'm happy good i'm glad you're happy you know on top of feeling like crap i'm pretty happy myself i have to say there's no reason to not be happy I woke up this morning it's a good day I'll tell you, some of the funniest videos, I got to say, I'm not a big fan of The Rock right now that he turned heel and this whole thing. I mean, he's a genius. I mean, absolute genius on what they're doing right now, uh, especially going to WrestleMania. I mean, it was, a, it was a great angle that they came up with, but I just came on here and there's a short. It says The Rock imitates Triple H featuring Stephanie McMahon. It's an old, older one. Like, I used to love how he used to make fun of Stephanie all the time back in the day. He used to mess with her and call her a slut and stuff. Just some funny shit. So, I mean... You knew it back then that he was just a talented person, man. Very, very smart, talented, very talented man. Okay, I'll send it through regular mail for you. It doesn't really need, so I'll get it in the mail for you this next week. Okay, cool, man. Cool, brother. Just uh, send it to the address I gave you, to Papa's house. I, I know I gave you that address. If you need it again, tell me, and I'll send it through email. But I think I told you already. I don't have anything sent here. But, well, everything goes to Papa's house. All right, Rocco. No problem, brother. Have a good day, man. I'll try to go live later. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll go live for a little bit before uh, WrestleMania starts. But no promises today. I'm not into NXT, so I'm, I'm not into watching that right now. I just never got into NXT. I want to watch. Um, that's tomorrow. Uh, I watch MD Jedi, Scratch Jedi. I've been watching him for years. I remember watching him when he had 300 subs, and he's he's got a great channel right now. I watch him every Sunday. Tomorrow, 1:45. He's doing a full book, uh, ten dollar book. I enjoy his. Uh... Oh shit! I missed the uh, coffee with uh... coffee with uh, the Lotto King. I forgot about that. 
I wanted to stop in there, but I went live. My bad. Okay, cool. Just send it again so I make sure it's the right address. Okay, thank you, brother. You got it, man. I'll I'll, I'll email it to you. Or I'll text it to you, whatever. Yeah, I love his channel. He's a good dude, man. I've, I've, I've watched him for years, man. I remember when he first came on the scene, man. He was a tiny little channel, and he, he blew up. But he puts the work in. He, uh, he definitely does. Have a good day, Rocco. I'll, I'll catch you later on or tomorrow morning. Paul Heyman, full WWE Hall of Fame speech, uncensored. Oh, cool. There it is. I don't know if I could find that again later. I'll try. Countdown to WrestleMania. Saturday. Five o'clock it starts. Okay, good. Angel, the one that's on YouTube, the countdown to WrestleMania, is that the same one that's on Peacock? Exactly the same one? I probably couldn't just watch it on TV on the big screen. Yes, uh, cool. Gnarly. Uh, yeah, right now is uh, Countdown to NXT Stand and Deliver. Maybe I'll check it out. I don't know. I'm going to see what I want to do. I'm going to call Dad. i got to see if we're going to run to the store. We might just go tomorrow because a couple things go on sale tomorrow. We might as well just wait. I don't feel like going anywhere. I really don't. Uh, those two are funny, man. The Rock and uh, Kevin Hart, when they get together, man, they roast each other. They are hilarious, man. I watched, there was this cool interview I watched. Um, what show was it? Uh, Logan Paul show. M I M something. I forget what it's called. If you guys know it, you know it. It's on YouTube. Logan Paul's channel. Him and another, that dude, Mike, that he's with. They, uh, they, this was just from the other day. It was him and uh, they interviewed Triple H. A good watch. If you find it on YouTube, go watch it, man. It's pretty cool. It's only like an hour long. I watched it last night. Definitely cool. And he was talking about how how intelligent some of these stars are in the business. And he said on the top of the list, you'd have to put The Rock and uh, obviously, who's a professional actor. Um, just very smart businessman. And Roman. And it's, just, it's just a good watch, man. Check it out and implosive podcast yeah i think that's it yep check it out man it was a good um did you see it angel and d-man it was it was a good watch i watched it yesterday it was pretty cool man he worked his butt off to get his channel where oh you're talking about a jedi right yeah hell yeah I, I, I've said this from day one about certain channels when they have a, just a good smooth channel. If you know what I mean by that, as be actually being a content creator yourself, know what I mean by having a smooth channel. Jedi is one of those. He has a smooth channel. Garage, AR Platinum, smooth, just fluent, just a talent, uh, if you will. If you understand what I mean from that perspective, from a content creator's perspective, smooth, um, never issues, just professional uh don't get me wrong you know they have their laughs and giggles and stuff in there but it's that's why their channels grow so big because it's it's business almost you know to a to a science you know it's a uh, something special to watch that's why i love going over and watching uh ar platinum's you know his his videos are just it's, it's fluidity if that's a word just it's fluid just runs like a clock <laughs> it's amazing and that dude i'm telling you what that dude re records for days like three four days in his car recording creating content days hours hours and hours and hours and hours and hours puts the time in for sure without a doubt Oh, that was another one too on uh, wrestling documentaries by spotlight that channel there's a it's called the dark side of the rock 
that was a good one. Good documentary. I watched that the other day. Very, very cool. Logan Paul, Owens Prime. I know that. Yeah, I know that. He was talking to with Triple H about that too, about um, how cool is it going to be having his logo in the middle of the ring where they never really had it. Um, UFC has it. Uh, WWE did it. Well, when it was WWF, they did it years ago. They, they tried it out for a while. Uh, it's challenging because it's very slippery, slippery, and they don't want the uh, entertainers to get hurt, slip on it. So they're trying to figure it out. Um, pretty wild. Uh, can you do me a favor, y'all? I don't know if you're into... He's a, he plays all sorts of music. It's my buddy I grew up with. Um, let me see something real quick. Let's see this channel. I think it's just, just his name, I believe. Yep. Go over and give him a sub if you don't mind. I'm going to put it on the screen right here. I grew up with him. Uh, he's in. He was in the band Soulfly. If you ever heard of him, he was in the, their main their lead guitarist for years. Uh, he's from where I grew up. Uh, can you see that? Mark Rizzo. Go over and uh, give him a sub. Check him out. If you're into music, he plays like a lot of flamenco and hardcore and all sorts of just a very talented musician. Go over and uh, check him out. You need to watch the Bray Wyatt documentary on Peacock. I will. I'll check it out for sure. Yep. I'm watching it now while I'm listening here. Oh, cool. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely want to watch it. I just haven't, uh, uh, not that I want to have the time I do. I just, I forget. And I, I didn't have my, um, I didn't have my thing hooked up, my fire stick. I hooked it up last night. It's ready to rock and roll. So when I go into the bedroom later and I'm ready, then I'm going to go, I'll go watch it. Yo, did you see Ernie's live? Was it yesterday? Eight and a half hour live, D-Man? How many views he had? Dude, he had 36,000 views in an eight and a half hour live. Insanity. I, I saw that yesterday. I was like, holy shit. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I'm going to pull this up so I can pull up his channel. I'm going to show you. I, I ain't messing around. live right here eight and a half hours eight and a half hour live right there thirty six thousand views thirty eight thousand views sorry thirty eight thousand i mean he's been going all of them have been thirty thousand thirty five thousand views eight hour lives because he's been doing it in portrait mode the one I'm talking about is 38,000. I'm looking at it right now, D-Man. And before that was 37,000, 35,000, 31,000, 32,000, 36,000. Ever since he's been doing it in portrait mode, he's been getting crazy, crazy amount of views. It's insane. I don't, I don't blame him. Take advantage of it. It is what it is. You're making money on those views. That's for sure. Okay, much love and respect for everybody and Brother Outdoors. Chat later. You got it, Angel. Go get some sleep, bro. Are you working tonight or are you off? You're going to watch uh, WrestleMania? Oh, yeah, I see them all. Maybe I need to, to do port. Hey, it's hard with the uh, diamond art, though, but you could probably still do it. I mean, he gets a good following anyway. He's up to like 6,000 subs right now. He just went over 6,000, but telling you doing it in that portrait mode bro he's getting paid smart thing I, I don't blame him i gotta go to the bathroom i'll be right back Oof.
see them or oh, maybe I need to do port yeah you, I mean if you could do it with the diamond art I'd try it man try it and see how many people I get you never know man at work and ready to go what's up Miss Marilyn good to see you how's your brother doing pray for him every night hope he's doing a little bit better every day gotta go get a few things done before making mom's lunch if you are live later might catch you later then take care bye bake sis have a good day. Thank you for being a member. I appreciate you. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a little something for lunch, too, in a little while. I might have a bowl of pea soup that I made. And then, uh, <coughs> that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go out and get those containers, but I really don't feel good today. I think we'll wait till tomorrow because a couple things go on sale in a supermarket anyway. I don't know. I gotta talk to Pop and see. Maybe we'll go to. Maybe we'll just go to Aldi's. I think Aldi's has some containers there too. One and actually by Aldi's, there's a Dollar Tree, or Dollar Store or whatever. Maybe maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll go out for a half hour and go do it, so I can get her done. I don't know. We'll see. I'll give him a call after this and see what he wants to do. He's okay. We have some good days and some not so good days. Thanks. Still praying for you as well. Thank you, Miss Marlon. I appreciate that. And, uh, yeah. That's how it is for me, too. I mean, luckily, if you go back to my lives from, you know, four or five months ago or four months ago when I first, uh, three months ago, two months ago, whatever, you could see the improvement, you know, where I went from, like, I have bad days and then, you know, uh, never said I had good days. And lately, I've been having a day here, a day there where I could say I'm having a good day. Like, I think it was Thursday. I felt great. I mean, it was for the first time in a long time. I felt great Thursday. And then I went for my treatment yesterday, and now I'm back to feeling like shit again. But it is what it is, like I said. But I'm not complaining that much. Can't complain. But when you get a day where you feel good, you got to just run with it. Like I said, Thursday, great. No, I haven't heard about that, Tina. Really? 21 million in funds? That's crazy. What's up, Billy? What's going on, brother? What you up to, man? I was shrimping last night.
very long. We towed a boat home. That's uh, that'll do it. That'll make your night longer. So, nice of you to do it. on the shelf then when you get to the register it charges more and they refuse to change it really not nice man why what happened I would have left them there oh wow well, what happened bro Must have been an asshole or something. Nothing happened. He just he just not a nice person. Oh, okay, I got you. So if it was your boat, you would have just you wouldn't have towed him in. I got gotcha. you. Didn't go to bed till six this morning. Oh wow. Hopefully you got a little bit of sleep, man. Try to get a little more rest this afternoon. Yeah, I'm fixing to jump off of here in a little bit myself. I'm going to grab some lunch and uh, I gotta do some dishes. And uh, I might run out to the store with my dad for a little bit. I got to give him a call. That's right. Wow. Well, sorry you had a rough night, dude. There you go. Good, man. Yeah, I say it all the time. I'll get a nap, but I never fall asleep. I just lay there. But I slept decent last night. I knew I was going to. You good this morning? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm like, you know, men's and men's. You know, I don't feel great. But it, I, I, it's as expected. I mean, I, I know I'm going to feel like crap a few days. It is what it is. I'm just going to ride it out. And hopefully, you know, it's supposed to be like 70, I think, on Tuesday. So I hope by Tuesday I feel a little better. Maybe me and Pops will go fishing for an hour or something. Sounds like a plan. Should feel all right by then. But like I said, you know, whenever I get treatment, I expect three, four days to feel like crap. It is what it is. Oh. Oh, I appreciate you asking, man. couple people yeah like i said I'm gonna, i was fixing to get off here anyway billy i'm not trying to rush anybody man but i'm gonna get off of here i think and uh go get a couple things done i'm gonna get out if i do go to the store and get out now go get what i need and come back home because i want to watch the um i want to watch the pre-show to wrestlemania and then it starts at seven we go on fishing monday if it's good we'll go tuesday too awesome that's good man i know i know you need to get back to it I know how it feels to play down. It feels to lay down to go to sleep and never get to sleep until five or six a.m. It stinks. Well, Billy, he he was working all night, shrimping and stuff. So I could understand why he was up till that time. But for me, sometimes it's a uh, I just can't fall asleep. Sometimes that's good though, Billy. I'm happy, man. I know I know you need to get back to getting back to fishing too. Hopefully, I have better weather for it and wind calms down. So, they ain't blowing like crazy. But, yeah, guys, I'm going to jump off here, man. We're just about two hours anyway. It's been a, it's been a good life. I appreciate you guys being here and uh, hanging out for a little while on your Saturday. Let me go get some shit done, relax, and then uh, I'll try to go live later. If I don't, I'll see you in the morning for sure. Yeah, that's true, D, man. All right, y'all. Have a good one. And uh, I'll try to catch you later. Maybe an hour before WrestleMania, I'll try it. All right?
catch you guys later on. Much love. Have a good day. I'm out.